Hey everyone, Alec here with Veed, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make compilation videos. So you may have a bunch of different video clips that you want to compile together to make one video, and in this video I'm going to be showing you exactly how to do that. So we're going to be adding a bunch of clips together, trimming these clips, adding some text and even some background music to make the best compilation video we possibly can. That being said, let's get started, and the tool we're going to be using is called Veed, so we're just going to head over to Google and type in Veed, V-E-E-D. And once we've Googled Veed, we're going to click on the first link, which is create, edit and share videos online for free. So I click on this and then Veed is going to open up. If you don't already have an account, you'll be prompted to create a new one for free. And if you do already have an account, we're just going to click on the new project button. So I click on the new project button and we are now in the project editor. So here we have the choice to start uploading videos. Now to upload our first clip, we're going to click on the upload video button. Now I already have here in a folder on my desktop, as we can see compilation clips, three clips that I've organized neatly into a folder. And for every clip to organize them, I try and give every clip one number in the order that I want them shown in and then a few keywords or maybe just one keyword to show or explain what the clip is about. So I'm going to select my first clip and I'm going to click on open. Now if we take a look in the top right, we can actually see the progress of the upload and basically once this upload has finished, we can then go ahead and start adding more clips. So if we take a look at the bottom right, this little plus sign that's currently greyed out, we'll be able to click it once the video is finished uploading. So first of all, we're just going to play the video back and we're going to trim it a little bit. So if I just click play. All right. Okay. okay. So so I just want to cut off a little bit of the beginning. So I'm literally just going to hover the mouse over the beginning of the clip and click and drag. So I click and drag to about here. And now if I drag the clip back to the beginning of my timeline, and I press play from the beginning. Okay, so this is a test video. And All right, that's perfect. Now I'm going to go ahead and start adding my second clip. So I'm going to click on the plus sign to add another video. And I'm going to select the second video. So this is number two and I click on open and then again if we take a look in the top right we can see the progress of the upload and if we take a look in our timeline we can actually see that the video has been imported into Veed's project editor and then I'm going to click again on the plus sign to add my third and final video obviously you can add way more clips than just three but if I click open again we're going to see the progress of the upload in the top right and then we're going to see the clip in our timeline. So now we have the compilation of videos in our timeline and if we play it back we are basically going to see all of our three clips consecutively. So the next thing I want to do is add a little bit of background music. So what I can do is just head over to the audio tab right and click on upload audio. So if I click on upload audio then I'm going to go again through my files to find a song so here we have the rolling stones and we're going to wait now if we take a look here we can see the progress of the song upload and then once this is finished we can actually adjust the song because if we take a look at the timeline right now it lasts six minutes because the song lasts very long so what i'm going to do is actually trim the song so i'm going to click and drag right here and make this way 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 shorter just so it's roughly the same length as my actual video. Uh, what I might actually do if I want it to be more energetic right away is just click and drag these into the middle so that way when it starts it's straight away with a bunch of energy. So now if I go back to the beginning, I just click on the fit screen button there to make it visible again. If I play it right now we should hopefully have a bit straight from the middle of the song. Okay so this is a test video and let's just say this is a podcast and I'm trying to add so that's perfect. Now if I just play it here, we can see the two clips. Um, I've touched progress bars, clean audio, and how to draw on video. That being said, thank you for watching. Uh, perfect. Okay, so this is looking great to me. What I am going to do is trim off a little more of the song. So I'm just going to click and drag this right here. I can also make my song shorter and then click and drag it to make it start later throughout the video. There's a lot of freedom basically to what you can do with the music. And if I think the volume is actually too loud, I just click on the volume tab and I click and drag the volume down. So now if I play it, it should be very light background music. Podcast, so when I share it on Instagram, it looks a lot nicer. That sounds very good to me. And now I'm going to add a little bit of text. I'm just going to click on the text tab and I'm just going to say, um, let's just say I type in video one. Okay, and then I've got a bunch of styling options. I'm just going to make the text white real quick and we're just going to click and drag it and put it in the bottom right so if you're making a compilation video basically on um, every clip i want new text to appear 
So I'm going to have video one for the first clip. So for the text, I'm going to click and drag and make this end at the end of the first clip. So now I'm going to add a second piece of text and I'm going to call it video two. So what I can do is either change it right here on in the actual text editor or I can again just click and drag and place this at the start of the second clip and take the end and make sure it finishes at the end of the second clip. And then a third text, video three. And if I just place it here, you're going to go down here and then click and drag. And there we go. So now if I place my playhead here, video one, video two, I haven't yet placed it. If I place it down here, there we go. And how to draw on video. That being said, thank you for watching. And video three, it overlaps a little bit here, so I can just click and drag it a little bit more. There we go. So now if I play it, I have my text, background music and all my clips. So once I'm happy with it, if I'm happy with it, I can just click the download button. Real quick, if you do want to change the canvas, you can quickly do so. And now all your clips will be um, square. So if you're posting this to Instagram, for example, a compilation to Instagram, this is perfect. Just click and drag it out. And um, thank you for watching. There you have it. Once I'm happy with my video, I just click on the download button and then Veed is going to start to render my compilation video. And then once it's finished rendering, I can actually download it or share it straight to social media. But that being said, that is how to create compilation videos online with Veed. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video or you found it helpful, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.